Hi, I'm Joe. Uh, I'm in Bali right now. It's beautiful outside, as you can see. Um, I want to talk to you about a type of movement or exercise that if you only practice yoga, you might be missing out on, and that's upper body pulling movements like the pull-up. Um, yoga is great for developing upper body pressing strength with poses like handstands, arm balances, downward facing dog, but we have very, very few poses that um, develop upper body pulling strength. So if you're not also incorporating some pulling exercises into your practice, you might be developing strength and balance that you're not really aware of. Uh, another advantage of incorporating these kinds of movements into your practice is that they will help to develop um, your grip muscles, so the muscles on the fronts of your forearms that flex your wrists and your fingers. And uh, not only is that helpful for being able to hold on to things, but it will also help to keep your wrists safe um, if you're practicing vinyasa yoga. Um, when you're putting weight on your hands in poses like downward facing dog, chaturanga, um, you should be actively pressing your fingers into the floor to take the pressure off your wrists. And it's those grip muscles that are responsible for helping you do that. And another advantage of uh, adding these kinds of uh, movements into your practice is that they can help to keep your shoulders safe. So um, research has shown that when you're engaging the adductor muscles, those are the, the muscles that pull the arms in towards the sides of your body like in a pull-up, um, that those muscles help to create space between the acromion, which is a ridge of bone on the outside of your shoulder blade, and the head of your arm bone. Um, if the head of the arm bone drives up or presses up into the acromion, it can create a pinching that's a common source of shoulder pain. Um, so strengthening these adductor muscles um, may also help to keep your shoulders healthy, keep some space in the shoulders. Um, so you might be thinking, well, that sounds great, but uh, I don't really feel like I can do a full pull-up, um, which is, um, you know, it's, it's hard to do a full pull-up. It's challenging. Um, but I have some suggestions um, to get you started, and even if you're not interested in ever doing a full pull-up, if you incorporate these movements into your practice, um, it will help you to start building the strength that I've been talking about. So the first one is just a simple static hang. Um, I'm going to use the door frame because I don't have a pull-up bar here, but um, I would suggest you use a pull-up bar. Um, make sure it's something that's secure that can safely support your weight. So you start by just taking your grip with the hands a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Um, you can allow the shoulders to lift towards the ears. You don't have to pull them down. And from the starting position, keeping the elbows straight, simply pick the feet up off the floor and hang. And that's really all there is to it. Very simple, but very effective. Um, try to work up towards being able to hang for at least 30 seconds. Um, once you're able to do that, you will have built up enough strength around your shoulders and the muscles and connective tissues that you can progress to the next step, which would be a scapular or shoulder blade pull-up. So it starts the same way. You take a grip with the hands a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, keeping the elbow straight. You start with the shoulders lifting towards the ears, pick the feet up off the floor, and then just draw the shoulders down towards the hips and allow them to release up towards the ears. I'll pull the shoulders towards the hips and allow them to lift. Um, very simple, um, but it helps to strengthen a lot of the muscles that you would eventually uh, need to be able to do a full pull-up. So I hope that was helpful for you. If you're interested in learning more, um, or if you want to find out about how to build up towards a full pull-up, you can click the link in the video. And uh, thanks for watching.